All right, let's get into it. You know why you're here, you clicked on the link. I was in this situation two days ago. I wanted to de-emboss, essentially turn an embossed text into multicolor on a print. Uh, now I have a fancy machine printer that can do that sort of thing, and I couldn't find good information on how to do it, so let's do it. Um, having figured this out, so I used this particular print from Kitlan uh, on Thingiverse. I wanted a case for my soldering iron. This seemed like a pretty nice uh, design, and that design has this text on the front. So uh, this is what it looks like in the Bamboo Lab slicer. It prints in place with these hinges, which is very nice, and this text is embossed underneath. But of course, that means that this surface in the text is not on the plate, so uh, you are dealing with whatever the surface finish you're going to get on that is. And what I wanted to do was just fill that in with an alternate color because I can now print in alternate colors. So enter Blender. Um, I often use Blender when I need to um, modify STL files. So let's go grab the case and import it. And there we go. So this is what it looks like in Blender with our text. So I'm gonna grab my box. I'm gonna scale it in X. Let's just grab it in Y. So uh, grab Y. So let's just move it. So the idea basically is that we are going to create a box which covers this area. So if I scale it up so that it's wide enough. Okay, so I'm assuming you're vaguely familiar with Blender, but basically, uh, to just a quick, <laughs> quick hint, uh, you hit G for grab um, and S for scale and things like that. And then you can select X, Y, Z for which uh, axis you want to affect. So to scale in Y, I'm going to hit S, Y, and then I can just scroll the mouse until this thing is big enough. Okay, so now I've got this panel, which is hiding the text, and I want to make it flush with the surface. So I'm going to go grab Z and just eyeball it. That should be fine. And what we want is for this text to be very small. Uh, so uh, the scale in in Blender is always a bit weird. So it thinks two meters, I'm thinking two meters probably in this context is basically two millimeters. I want essentially a 0 0.2 millimeter tall piece of text. So we will do uh, 0 0.2 meters uh, and then grab Z just to bring him up. So this is really a case of scaling in and out, getting it to flush in the position we want it. Awesome. Uh, and now we should be able to add a Boolean modifier, object type, select the object, and we want exact different. Uh, if we get rid of that, uh, right, yeah, so why yeah, I'm a little bit too high, so I've cut the text, but what I've still got is that panel, so let's just grab it in Z, there we go. So now the difference is just the text, so if I turn off the case, I now have this object which is thin text, fantastic. So if I then export as SDL, remember to select selection only because we only want our text and not all the like cameras and other bits. We're going to export it as SDL. Fantastic. So now that we are uh, exported our text um, back in the Bamboo Labs, we'll get rid of the object we loaded before. And now we are going to reload it with the text at the same time. And when you do that, it says, do you want to load this as a single object with multiple parts? Yes, we do. And the important thing is that those two objects that exist in the same kind of model space. And so they are aligned where you want them. And now you can say text, change filament, boom. 
and that is perfectly aligned. We can slice it and we can print it. And in fact, that's exactly what we've done uh, because, spoiler alert, here is one I prepared earlier. Look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful two color print. Very easy, very quick. There you go, I hope that was helpful. Catch you next time.